This air core solenoid can act just like a bar magnet, repelling north and attracting south. Repelling north and attracting south. But how can we predict what direction the field is pointed? With our right hand. Let your curling fingers be the direction of current flow, which is looping around. Then your thumb is the north end of the electromagnet. Of course, the reason we need to know about electromagnetism is because it is used to generate current. For example, when I dip this magnet into this coil, it generates a few microamps, which can be seen on this microammeter here. Or, if I drop this magnet into this copper tube, it will fall slowly because it generates current on its way down. Now, you can actually see the falling magnet if you add this magnetic field viewing film. Let's imagine that it's the north end of the magnet that's going in first, or in this case, that it's the north end of this magnet that's going into the solenoid coil. What direction is the current going to flow? Well, as it goes in, a current will be generated that points in the opposite direction of the magnet's plunge. That is, as it goes in, it is repelled by the electromagnet. If you use your right hand, it is very easy to predict. Well, that's it. Electricity and magnetism are connected phenomenon, but their fields are directed at right angles to each other. So we use the convention of the right hand to predict the relative angles of the fields. Current, field, force.